Hi, I'm Christine from House of Smocking and in this video I'm going to show you how to line a smocked dress. The lining I do in two pieces uh, for the front. So I've got a smaller piece there which covers the smocked panel and then a skirt part. And then if we turn it over, we have the skirt part with its own placket and then we bind the armholes. The pattern pieces that I'm going to use are the blocking guide and the back skirt. I only want the back skirt because the blocking guide will act as the panel to cover the smocked area. I'm using cotton lawn so and I take a piece of fabric and fold it in half and then fold my blocking guide in half and pin it two inches in from this folded edge. And then I'm going to cut it across there, up and round to form my first piece to cover the smocked area. So here is my first piece, which I'm going to use to attach to the front yoke and it'll go over the smocked area. Next, I have cut two back skirts. So two pieces of fabric the same using the back skirt pattern from the pattern for the dress. Here I have one of the back skirt pieces that I cut and I'm going to use it for the front skirt. And I'm going to gather along this edge. So I'm going to do two rows of long stitch, stitch length four. And I'm going to attach it to the bottom of there. So now you can see that I've gathered the skirt and attached it to what was the blocking guide. But I've also uh, put two rows of stitch length four across the top ready for when I attach it to the dress. And on the inside you'll see I've just overlocked the edge to neaten it. Here we have the back skirt and I've done a placket as I would do for the dress. So here we have my smocked dress and I've put it together by attaching the yokes to the front and the back of the skirt pieces. But I've actually left them open, both front and back, so I can attach my petticoat. So I've turned it round and now I can attach my petticoat to the front. You'll see that I've left the side seams loose at the moment so that it's easy for to see what I'm doing. So this is my front petticoat and what I want to do is I want to gather this up to match that edge there. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to pin the centre and then I'm going to gather it up. So now you can see how I've gathered in the top edge of the what I used was the blocking guide piece of pat, uh, pat, pattern piece and I've attached it to the straight edge of the dress yoke and then I've just overlocked it to neaten the edge. So that's the front skirt part done. So for the back skirt we've made our placket and then we're going to put two rows of stitch length four across the two top edges of the skirts, of the skirt backs. And then we're going to open this out and we're going to, well actually it'd be easy if I turn it this way. So if I turn that so it's right sides together and then I'm going to attach that to there, draw it up and attach that just inside that mm -hmm. edge. So I'm hoping you can see what I've done here. So I've gathered the top edge of the skirt up and then I've attached it to the um, lining of the back yoke. Mm -hmm. So when I open it out, you can see that I've left a little gap so that when I turn it over, then the lining is set just inside the placket. So rather than it being right on the edge, it's just on the, on the just set in in slightly. 
So next I can actually overlock right across the whole edge before I um, to just to neaten it off before I do the other side. So here we have our back uh, lining pieces attached to the back yokes. You can have either slip stitch just across that edge just to hold it down, same as that edge as well, just to hold it down. Or you can turn it inside out and fold it over on that crease. And then just sew for about an inch or three centimetres across just to fix that down. So I'll do that next and show you how it looks. So now you can see by stitching on the inside, having folded it over and round, I've used the same seam to uh, do my stitches and it just anchors that edge down. So this is all free still, but it's just fixed at that point and the same on the other side. So now we're going to do the side seams. So to do the side seams, we can bring the two petticoat sides together, matching the seams. And I'm doing wrong sides together first. I'm going to do a seam down there and then I'm going to trim it and then I'm going to fold it over and sew it again so that I get a French seam. So I'll do that next. So there is my first seam, which is really tiny. So I'm now going to fold it over. I'm going to press that flat and then I'm going to make another seam down there. So there we have our lining, which is joined at the yoke. It's joined at the side seams and it's joined to the two back yokes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my dress. I'm going to do the side seams of my dress and then I'm going to tack the two edges together. So the two, the lining to the front. So I'm going to tack that all the way around there and then insert my sleeves. And then once I've put my sleeves in, then I can bind the armholes. So in this video, I've um, done the side seams and attached the belts, and then I've just run the machine round to attach the linings to the yokes so they don't move around ready for me to add the sleeves. So I now have my sleeves in. They're all sewn in. And the next thing I want to do is I want to bind the sleeves. So I'm going to turn that round. And then I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to pin it to the back of the sleeve. And then I'm going to sew all the way round the sleeve. Okay, attaching the binding as I go. Okay, so I'm going to be sewing it like that under, under my sewing machine. So sewing a seam and I'm going to follow the line of stitching that I've just made to attach my sleeves. So now you can see that I've attached the binding. So it's the right side to the wrong side of the sleeve. So I've gone all the way round. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do another line of stitching. Show you on this side, about a quarter of an inch from in from that edge, from that uh, the seam line that I've just sewn. So I'm going to sew another line down about down there, about a quarter of an inch in. So now you can see that I've done a second row of stitching about a quarter of an inch away and then I'm trimming off the surplus. So it's trimming it down just to that edge of so, um, the seam line, the stitches. So once you've trimmed it all down, you then fold over the binding to the seam allowance and then fold it over again 
and it lines up with your stitching line and then just slip stitch it in place. And there we have our bound seam. And it's just slip stitch on the inside. So you do the, the other side just the same, but that's how you do a petticoat and line your dress. What's nice about binding your armholes is that when you have it to the right side, if you push that binding outwards, it makes the sleeve head stand up nicely. Well, I hope you found this little video useful and are able to line your dresses from now on. Please like this video. Thank you.